You have been summoned before the board of Shaman for the most grievous of crimes. You let the book of spells fall into the hands of the demon, Nana too. This is Nanageddon. This is Nanageddon. Nanageddon. I wasn't even there. I was DJing with Bolo. DJing with your familiar. Highly unorthodox behavior, Naboo. Even for you. These two guys I live with, they try to use the book to impress these girls. Oh, I'm Naboo. Nothing is ever my fault. What's it got to do with you? It's got everything to do with me, and more to boot. It's never like me, have you? No. And you're perfect, are you? I'm pretty good. I've seen your CV. There's nothing on it. I live my life. Live your life? You live with a couple of DOS bags and an ape. <sighs> what? You are an ape? No. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, you've read all the books, but when it comes to the crunch, where are you? The crunch? How dare you speak to me of the crunch? You know nothing of the crunch. You've never even been to the crunch. Been there once. Oh, little day trip round the crunch. We can all go as tourists. Oh, that's a bit of crunch. Shut it. Look, I'll sort it out. Just give me more time. Well, perhaps I could grant you an extra 24 hours. How can you allow this? Here we go. He is guilty. It is written in the Law of the Shaman that if you lose the book, your powers will be suspended. I know this. This is an outrage. You must do your duty. He must be punished. He must be punished. He must be punished. He must be punished. Silence. I'm afraid on this occasion, Sabu and... Tony. Tony. Harrison. Tony Harrison are right. Your powers must be revoked and your familiar impounded until further notice. Oh, but that DJ had fabric on Tuesday. Not anymore, you don't. Oh. Can I still get on the guest list? Maybe. And now, though it pains me to do this, we must all turn our backs upon you. Look, I'll get the book back, you'll see. I won't let you down. I'm the boo, that's who. Whatever. Hmm. You plum the boo, your powers have been revoked. Yeah, I've got a travel card. I will get that book for you, sire. But it is a dangerous mission. I shall assign you a partner. Very well, I will go with Kirk. Kirk is not to be trusted in these matters. Kirk is a violent and sexually deranged being from the fourth dimension. Kirk, is it true you are still an erotic adventurer? Of the most deranged kind? Yes. Very well, who should I go with? You shall go with Tony Harrison there. Oh, come on. What? What's your beef? He's got no legs. <laughs> he can't walk. How dare you? I come fully equipped with a papoose. If you need to move me around, I slot in the back like a peanut. If you're against the papoose system, I've got a, a wheel that clicks into my chin like a skate. What are you, a kit? Am I going to have to assemble this Kinder Egg and take him with me? Tony has a gift for strategy. A gift for strategy. That's right, I'm a unique thinker. Right, let us hear one of Tony Harrison's stratagems. Come on, Tony. Don't let me down. I say we move uh, with haste. We retrieve that book. We fetch it back in a bag and uh, quite quickly. Oh, dear. Just give me five minutes. I can come up with something else. I only need pen and paper and someone to write down my ideas. You are a knob. Oh, if I was a younger man, I'd take you on. Come on, let's see what you've got. Look, look, what, look, I can't have this kind of guy in the field when I'm trying to work. You shall go with Tony Harrison, and that is the end of it. Very well, sire. But if, when it comes to the crunch, he lets me down, I shall hold you personally responsible. Likewise, if this prick screws up, I'll ditch him quick smart. For someone who looks like a bull, you... Sometimes I wonder at the team I have assembled here. 